I'm just someone that really, really, really thoroughly and honestly enjoys playing guitar. I enjoy it, it makes me happy. What I enjoy about it the most is playing guitar solos. Solo, divinations, all right. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> we ended up doing a bunch of uh, kind of a surf guitar sound in that part, which is better than Brendan's idea. He's just like, that'd be great. It's like a surf, because it sounds very surfy. So it's like, here's the rock and roll song, and then it makes a, a nice left turn, you know, on a surfboard. Okay, here's how I'll write guitar solos. I don't. I just I just put my brain on autopilot and pick up the guitar and say play the song. And just whatever pretty much whatever I play, like first thing I play is pretty much is how the solo goes. sounds going on so try to do all the heavy stuff first my heavy metal pedal bill is definitely the single most heavy metal dude in the band you can tell by the haircut <laughs> like i always try to harmonize not everything but anything that's single notes or whatever i feel like oh i'm gonna harmonize the crap out of that or I kind of, you know, laid back a little bit as well. I didn't want to go over the top too much. The arsenal of, of stuff that we had to work with was just immense. It was just like, okay, yeah, this is great. I already have a good feeling about this, you know? It's probably the only time you'll see me with one of these in my hand. <laughs> it's a sweet telly, dude. You know, Brendan and, and that studio, they just have this, they have a deep admiration for just like the, the, the sound that we're looking for and that we've been, that we've been looking for, you know? They know what we're up to, basically, you know what I mean? Brendan, he, he showed us his warehouse of gear and we were just like wetting our pants, like, oh my God. And they just have all this crazy gear. They're just gear freaks, you know? And we took a, a truck, like rented a big X Enterprise, like box truck, uh, and brought like shitloads of stuff down, like filled the whole entire truck up with amps and all, the, all this shit and brought it all down here. They have it all. And it's just like a bunch of toys for Bill and Brent and Troy to, to mess around with and just be like, oh, I want to try this out. I want to try this out. I want to try this out. You don't have to rent anything, you know what I mean? We just They just got it, they have it. I've been using this uh, JCM 800 Lead Series reissue, 100 watts of pure fucking metal. But running with the pedal, it sounds great in conjunction with this baby right here. The Marshall JCM 800 Lead Series, which is my first, one of my first amps. This thing's really old, it's like, I don't know, 85 maybe. You, you want to play through this totally rare, vintage, crazy piece of gear, they probably have it. For a part in uh, Quintessence, I was using this Leslie speaker in here. It's like a rotating speaker. How old is that thing, do you know? I think it's 
from like uh, 1800s. <laughs> oh, you want to do a harp? You want to play harpsichord on that part? Yeah, I got a, I got a harpsichord back over the. You know what I mean? Like this, like what? I think that'd be a good spot to to play a lute. Let's do a lute solo. And that that just makes me really, really, really giddy, like a little schoolgirl, like just hee hee, because I I love all that crazy old gear, you know? Yeah. It's a purple plexi. JMP. This one's a J. No, he has a. This is the plexi right here. This is the J. Purple JMP. God, that thing is fucking cool. Like today, I played a 1964 Stratocaster through a 1968 purple JMP uh, 100 watt head. The gear is definitely why I get out of bed in the morning. I mean, all this stuff is just—it's really rare, you know what I mean? And it's like—it's not reissued stuff. It's from the year, you know. Let's go swimming. Get him off! Get really ready for the day. <laughs> Nothing like a closed pool. <laughs> it's the only time he goes in things when they're broken out of order.